The streets of Chinatown are filled with people dressed in clothing that seems more fitting for the fall. With a high of 9 degrees in downtown Victoria today, this is a mild winter day. I got my fuzzies on, but uh, uh, it's nice to have a break from the cold weather this year. That break in the weather is especially noticeable in two locations on Vancouver Island, according to new research. Nanaimo and the Cowgen Valley led all other regions across Canada when it comes to the amount of cold winter days lost over the past decade. We used climate models to look at what the temperatures would have been without all of the additional emissions of carbon dioxide and methane that humans have put into the atmosphere over the last 150 years. The research from Climate Central shows that Nanaimo lost 18 below zero days, while Cowichan lost 17 days between 2014 and 2023. We did look at whole of the, the Northern Hemisphere, and really this part of Western Canada really stood out as a place that is experiencing a lot more days above freezing than it used to because of climate change. Environment Canada received this report as well, but have some questions about how this American research team arrived at these numbers. While we do see temperatures fall below zero, it's not necessarily what comes to mind. I think it's just a, a regional nature of winter climate. Um, not all regions are the same, especially in a country like Canada, which is just so large with such varied climates. Climate Central says with no defined winter temperature, they chose the freezing threshold as the standard number across the board. Back out on the bare, non-frosted streets of Victoria, opinions are mixed on the topic. Well, it's kind of a double-edged, you know, two sides of a coin, right? Because on the one hand, it's warmer, but on the other hand, it's like, you know, why? It's like climate change. And people keep setting marks and targets and everything. But I feel like nothing's actually being done. I like that I don't have to be in a park, but yeah, it's concerning. I mean, the weather has really changed in the 30 years that I've been here. Um, it used to be kind of that temperate rainforest uh, kind of temperature, and uh, it's not anymore. Those concerns and those warmer temperatures are being felt around the world, with 44% of global cities seeing at least one additional week of days above freezing every single year.